Welcome to another episode of the Kinseed series. As you can see, it is now winter. Uh, this is what we've reached after the update in the last episode. Let's see about giving our little piggy some strawberries. Hoo There you go. Yay! Let's see if the moo cow needs food. Uh, yes. Alright, so we'll go ahead and just feed her an apple. There you go. That away. So I don't know if we could grow anything right now. We don't have any seeds, so that's kind of a problem. Let's see, let's go ahead and fish real quick, because that guy's right there. Don't ignore me! Ah, silver scale. I didn't know that was one we'd caught, but apparently it is, because I didn't get a little bit of info about the guy. So, let's go ahead. I'm kind of curious on the last, the end of the last episode, I took a nap. Um, I guess it is kind of in the afternoon, so maybe it did save. I'm gonna go up here and see if that page was picked up. Oh, nope, here it is, I think. Yep. Alright, so we got a new page. That's still locked. I still think that's in our pig. <laughs> I thought we had to get the pig to blow up like a balloon and then pop him. But I did that and I wasn't able to hit him. So that's kind of a problem. Let's go ahead and check on up here. There's more... Uh, this... This way that we hadn't really looked at. Like, I think we've poked our heads into certain areas, but like we haven't found everybody yet, I don't think. I don't know that I've been down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out that way and see if we can find some new people to meet. We did see quite a few people I didn't have the names for at the marketplace, and so it makes me think that I'm missing an area still. And you know, I missed half the map before, so it wouldn't put it beyond me to miss some people. I wonder if the poppies are going to be still very prevalent. Ooh, there's a book in their house. This is the bumper book of chuckles. There's some pretty good uh, jokes in here. I keep a ruler in my pocket for good measure. They say a good invisible man is hard to find. Did you hear about the vibrating undead? He had trouble keeping body and soul together. <laughs> do, do tree men have woodpeckers? <laughs> oh my god. The highwayman said, stand and deliver. So I stood up and took my liver out. <laughs> These are all very funny. But I didn't feel like going through the whole book. Did we get this? Ah. Alright, so we have House of Vision. So does that give us everybody in the... yeah, okay. Good. Yeah, Charmweed certainly looks different now. Has its own shape, which is good. Ah, the peppers. Or the fish slap house. I like that their house name has like zero to do with their last name. <laughs> You'd think it would. Every time I see this, I think that it's uh, berries, and so something that I can harvest. Oh, they do have the poppies, but they're all dark and weird colored. Ooh, I got a gooseberry! I don't think Hale would like this. Um, so apparently either I have a good enough relationship with this, or they changed something in the update so that you can steal it even if you don't have a good relationship. Uh, so rosy crust and fin crust, so the apple of my iPad. <laughs> yes, I recall this. Hey, I was able to take them, so I'm, I'm okay with that, because I didn't know how else to get a gooseberry, and I think a child asked us to get some for somebody, so now we have that. That's gonna be good. Ooh, I discovered the long pipe place. Herbie weave and- Herbie weed and ivy weed. Yeah. These are, they, they look like that would be their names. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see how they tackle like offspring and how they look and everything. Like how the characteristics and everything can change from generations. Like 
I wonder if it'll feel as unique, I guess, because like his name and his face and all of that worked really well together to make a kind of a cohesive character. And I'm curious how difficult that'll be to do with what I assume is randomly generated offspring. Because, you know, they can't sit there and make every single one of the um, next generation and what they'd look like, you know? Because some people could play for hundreds of years if they wanted. Oh, you can walk through this. There's such a natural instinct to not go where there are groups of stuff. So like this, I should have walked around. On only even days, moonfish swim under moonlight rays. I had not realized. One more map stone. That's crazy that it could be something that specific to when you can get certain fish. So it's like not even what day of the week, but what's the date? Ah, there it is. That's the map stone. How do I get to you? Not through here. Around this house then. It's interesting there's two beds in that house because I have definitely only seen... Ooh. Oh yes, the... How did I come up here and get this and not see that map area? Moonfish have a powerful trait. They keep you up until way past late. Yeah, I can't believe I walked past that and didn't trigger it. So I wonder how many more I need. Oh, I have it now. Okay. Let's see. So there was a map stone. There is a map stone. And there's one. I feel like somehow the map is more detailed than it was. Can't move it around though, I don't think. Which is a little too bad. I mean, I guess it does crop off there and there, but I'd still like to be able to zoom and move it around. Let's see what I want to see. So I've checked out these houses and marked them. That's marked off with a gate. Okay, so we can't go up any more north, but there will eventually be something up there, which just shows how big this map is, has the potential of getting. Oh, hello child. Uh, rose salt and cilia salt. Oh, hello. It's exciting to see a new face around here. It would be nice to talk to some, nice to talk sometime. Conversation is thin on the ground in this house. Oh, goodness. Let's see what he has to say. Anything you need in particular? I'm a busy man. There is too much uh, jo jovality around these parts and I have no time for japes or idle banter. I don't know what that word is. I'm sorry. Go ahead and get this over here. We've got the salts now, rock salt. Where do we go in here? Mm. We're gonna drink Papa Hill, apparently. So why is my light gone, by the way? I noticed this earlier. Uh, I must have taken it off. Dark light. I don't know what the general difference between these two are, except for one... Um, shows us fairies. But you can also queue. Yeah, so you have just like a standard mode, so I don't know why we have a normal one anymore. So that's the fact that I can't get rid of it. Well, that's jarring, isn't it? Hello, blue line. Why would you choose that color as your default background? It makes me think of blue screen of death. It's very not nice. Boeing Nancy causes sleep yours to find in winter's keep. Well, we've been finding it all over the time, but it could be easily said that they just don't have the properties quite right. Terrible blue. Might just because it's dark and everything. But yeah, it just reminds me of blue screen of death. I see you chilling in this area. Do you mind telling me what it is? Because it's clearly a thing. Probably for teleporting of some sorts? Offerings? Something? Do you have any idea? I'd like to know. Ooh, map zone! Aha! Yes. Alright. Oof. Look at that. God, the shape's not even subtle on the map. Alright. 
So map stone, map stone. And there's one. Here's the shop. I don't think I've been perhaps down there. I have been to that though, so I probably have been there. But I might run down and double check. And then we can go over here and that's the festival and I just checked that out and I don't think there's anything new there. But I don't know that I have the map there either, so it might be worth popping in to try to get that last map stone. Going around the whole outside of the area, trying to see if I could find um, the map stone or any secret areas, which I did not. This is the pig area. So I'm curious if you can get the full map here. I can't think of anywhere else where you'd find a map stone. Never mind, it's right here. Uh, this, I think you need to be in the front of it. All right, there we go. So it's tucked down pretty close to the enter entrance, actually down in this like wheat area. So there's the one here, which is the last one we just saw. And then the other one is up hidden through these trees up in this area. There's that cool stage. Does anyone know if there's a way to capture bugs? So let me know down below. You can see them when you have the um, uh, the thing that lets you like read stuff by just getting close to it, seeing the stats of it. You could see like the butterflies or the bugs labeled with question marks. So I'm curious on how I can get rid of that in essence, and I think it's probably by capturing them. Ooh. Oh! You can turn off the uh, street lights on the path. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it's really neat that it's an option. <laughs> Did you ladies like get to your shop place? <laughs> Guess I'll talk to you. Neary nearest nails? How are you? Oh, ew. That's so good. Let's talk to you. Good morning. How are you? Can you do me a favor? Sure. Uh, deliver the following items to Jeffrey. Strawberries. I can do that. Sure. Wait, hurry along then. Close. I am curious about- there's like extra numbers in there and what they mean. Is it just some code slipping through that we can see or if there's like a time limit? Uh, but there's like no info here, so come here. We need to find Teresa Green and Jeffrey Black. <sighs> That's a point, but I'm trying to wait for these guys to go to their store. Because I think somewhere it said that they would have the means of getting a sword. Alright, now she's in her shopping mode. And then. We can do- ooh, molds. Hmm, I don't know why- I mean, I guess to sell. Could get a sword, or for 50 we could get our own. So let's go ahead and just buy that. So we have a sword mold used for the blacksmith. I don't really want to do the bucket right now. Hello. Let's give her- a strawberry. <laughs> Bye. Can we use your forge? No. I'm gonna have to head home for that. So glad I waited up for this. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and head home. We'll see about crafting a sword. Oh my god. <laughs> scared me, puppy. For a second I thought it was like a person. You wanna follow me? You know what we haven't done in like since day one? Just watered the pig. So let's go ahead and pour this honey everywhere on the ground. Here you go, pup. Just go ahead and drink that and you'll be fine. Get some water. Here you go, truffles. Forgot that was a task I had to do on occasions. <laughs> My bad. 
We needed someone with the last name of black and green. They're probably living in the same area, whoever they are, because they seem to be kind of themed. Someday I'll remember that I do not want to take this bath to go to town. But today is not that day. Let's go ahead and go copper. And then sword. The bills. Oh. <laughs> no. Perfect. Oh, that's a pretty good window. Super good. Oh yeah! We had a five star sword. Just for us. A copper and everything. Cool. Close. Now the question is, I don't know how we're gonna make it so we don't sell to him the next time we talk. Because I think I can make stuff and give it to him and he just gives me the money for it. Um, but I don't want him taking my sword. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot I was supposed to be looking at people's names. Who are you, NPC? Don't need you. NPCs, don't need any of you. Obviously don't need the jugs. Go look on here. I mean, their houses aren't exactly useful for knowing who's who and where they're at. Wow, we really haven't looked into the west. I guess let's go over there and see what we can find. Toilets will have another use eventually. Can't imagine what they have planned for that. Uh, the teapots. So that's not who we need. And I think that's the only one of these stones in this area I've found. Oh, these people have a book. Ah, uh, yes. The, uh... Ones who say I'm evil because I had a twin. Inquilian custom off offerings are a way of life. Each of our beloved goddesses have their own preferences. Druida, goddess of the apple, goddess of the orchards, love the sweet fruit that grow on trees and despise the taste of flesh. Once a year, a greater offering must be made. One on the first day of each year in spring, a living sacrifice must be made per family at the appointed place. Not that I was aware of. For the people of the Vale, the offering is given on the festive green by placing a sacrifice instead inside the wood fellow. The greater the sacrifice, the greater the reward. Small animals are fine but their acceptability is limited. A family member is considered the greatest honor and surely ensures a good year of good favor. Guess I'm never having a good year. I ain't giving any of my family away. Hello? Uh, hello? Ash Brown. Hey. Interesting. You look interesting. Like a pond of tadpole, tadpoles in a summer storm. Restless, deep. Rainbow smiles. Rainbows smile on you, tadpole. Okay. You have something else to say? Just love nature. I catch and collect insects to collect to study them. Just get a jar and you can find all kinds of wondrous creatures by using by just using the jar to catch them. Some people collect them in books or just store them in a jar. I like to let them go and fill our world with color. Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> You must be the one of the orphans. Love and best wishes to you. You are always welcome in our humble abode. Even after I was gone for so long? Uh, so, Arthur Brown. And I don't think he was the person we needed. No, we need green and black. I wonder if those guys are the... Uh, discovered... The complaint? Was that the complaint lodge? <laughs> yeah. Oh, these are the green. Hey, are you still up? Teresa, don't go to bed yet. Oh, she's got to go to the bathroom. Good. Uh, hello, greetings. How are you? What do you care if I'm okay or not? Oh, I mean, care that everyone's okay. Here, have a strawberry. Am I meant to be impressed? She didn't like that. I'm not telling you anything. Uh, let me check my journal real quick. What was it I needed to give you? Gooseberry. Gift. Um... Here. Gift. Ah, deliver one 
Who's very? I hate the the. Am I meant to be impressed? No, I was just doing a thing about time. You're not very pleasant. I don't like you much. This holly kettle. We just talked to these two, I think. Ooh, they have a book. Let's talk about insects. Books contents to be written properly in the future. There are five tops, types of collectible flappy small creatures. Bees, fireflies, wisps, moths, and butterflies. Some only appear at night, some gather by light, and different types can be found in different regions. Got to catch them all. Got to catch all of them in some sort of collection. Hmm, must think of a catchier phrase than that. <laughs> so, funny enough, since I just asked at the beginning of the episode how I do that, I do have a jar. I have one full of honey. Let's go ahead and put that there. Let's see if we can catch a bug. Have we activated this? No. The old smokehouse. Oh, Ash, Teresa, and Arthur. Arthur. Teresa Green. Teresa. Okay, so there is two people with the same first name. Okay. And then we need to find Jeffrey Black. Who I imagine is around here, so. Oh man, it's snowing! That's cool. Uh, eventually, there will be visual aging for each character. Yep. Huh? Oh, I can put out their lights too. I don't want to though. Dog enemies. A dog has many enemies in the natural world, although only the ones found in the dark forest will actually eat a dog. <laughs> Sometimes they will cook the dog, and this is called a hot dog. A dog will protect its master from attack and can warn of dangerous presence with a whimper or a growl for less dangerous ones. If your dog dies, then please remember that it will be absorbed into the circle of life and likely come back to you to visit you in a, as a small newt or a buttercup. Although you may need to visit the buttercup as they have no legs. Uh, well, that's sad. Holly, having a hard time sleeping. Gimme, 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 gimme. Ah. Come here. Come here, buggy. How have I never activated that? My god, that's embarrassing. No bug, why? I just want to capture you. Oh, here's one. Aha! A glow butt. New insect. Press R to collect, E to store, or Q to let go. Let's collect that one because we only have one. Is he in my jar? Or is he in my inventory? Uh, or here. Oh, they have their own tab. So I found a glow butt. I don't know much about the glow bed, but I have one now. So it seems like I wanted to mostly hold it first and get it at the end. A larvae lamp. Well, since I don't have that one, I will hard to collect. Okay. Now I can, I am master of all bugs. I will get them. Oh, and now when I hover over it, it'll tell me what type of bug it is. I am excited for the UI of this kind of thing to be updated. It just, it feels unfinished when it's just that like, square of color. Oh, here's one. Oh, come back. A window smacker. So fly. <laughs> Collect. These names are great. Oh, there's a window smacker in my house. Eh? Oh, wait, no. There is something right here. Oh. What if that light is supposed to be outside? Like, in my, the bedroom? <laughs> Or if it's supposed to be lit from behind. <laughs> it's cool that we have the... I might as well turn this one off. Cancel. Since I don't... I'll have to go back inside and turn it on. Off later. Since I don't sleep on that half the room anymore. Yay! Money! So I think that's gonna be it for this episode. We've got ourselves a sword now and we've tested out catching bugs, which is something I knew was a thing, but I didn't know how to do. Hey, welcome back, Sniff. I don't know where you went, but you're with us now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.